Most people think AI needs complexity to be powerful, but Flax context proves that wrong in the most disruptive way possible. Some debts don't die. This bounty ends tonight. When Black Forest Lab dropped their new model, I expected just another text to image gimmick, but what I found was something that rewrites the rules of creation. With the most stripped down interface I've ever used, I edited images, I transformed a single reference image into a consistent character across multiple movie scenes, swapped out environment, erased objects within painting, and restyled everything from 2D anime to photorealism all without breaking the flow. And here's the kicker. I pulled together a complete short film in under 6 hours which I'll be revealing later. This model doesn't just accelerate creativity, it changes everything we thought AI couldn't do. So let's see how all of this works. Visit the Flux webpage here. Once on the page, scroll down, there are two versions of the model here, which are the Context Max, Context Pro, and in my opinion, any of this works just fine. Click to use the playground, then sign in with your Google account. Once you are in here, first you can notice the UI page is very simple and clean. On the top left, we can see we have a few tabs here to generate, edit, fill, also expand an image. So to test the first feature, let's try to generate a consistent character. In the prompt box here, you can either type your prompt or use an image. And this is where it gets more powerful. So I'll click to import an image I want to use here. This is a Western cowboy in a cyberpunk city as my reference image. Then you can additionally generate a prompt based on the reference image. From the tab here, use the Flux context model, either Pro or Max. Pro will save you some credit, I believe, and it is much faster. The next UI here gives more options. You can change the aspect ratio depending on the frame size you want to use. So I'll be using 16 by 9 to achieve a film resolution. Batch size is the number of images you want to generate. For the rest here, I'm not too sure of the settings, so I'll leave them at their default settings. You can change or use PNG for the image format. I'll leave the seed here at random. So now let's see what this is all about. I'll click the button here to start generating. I do not think this runs on your GPU, so this is another problem solved. All right, so these are the results here, completely unbelievable. Let's click to see the consistency much closer. And this was just from a reference image, not a trained LoRa model. I also love the freedom and creativity of the Flux context model, improving the details while maintaining consistency. And moving up here, you can download your image. Next, you can click here to find more details about the image, especially the seed number, so you can regenerate this. Another necessary icon here is comparing your reference images before and after views. So this is too easy, right? Now, let's take this further to create multiple shots for a movie or video for this consistency. I'll come down here, then click Edit. Notice this takes us from the Generation tab into the Edit tab. So what can we do with our image in here? Let's use the same character, the same environment for a different shot. My prompt will be a close-up of the character taking a call. I realize using the small text box here is a bit limiting, but hopefully that will be improved. So I'll leave everything here at default, keep this at four images batch, then click Generate. Can you see how easy all of this is? Let's go ahead to view this much closer to pick the best one. This did not follow the prompt, right? So go through your alternatives to pick the best image. I'll stick to this frame here, very detailed and I like the framing and very consistent. And all of this is just coming from a single reference image just from the beginning. What more can we do with Flux context? we should try in painting right so let's go to the fill tab let's come down to this image let's say we don't like this drone shot in the scene so how do we remove that without generating another image come down here then use the fill option once again notice we go into the fill tab then i'll come to the scene notice below select area to fill then draw a selection around what you do not want 
A text box appears below, then type remove, then hit generate. Never has this been so simple. From the thumbnail below, select the best one you want. Also, keep an eye here on your credits while you are having fun. Once you are happy, confirm your in paint. If you did not like the results, use the icon here to cancel, then regenerate. Up here, let's compare the before and after scenes. We can see this is super, super clean. There is no indication we had an object here earlier. I'm going to close this and back to the image. Let's go to the fill tab. You can also drag an image in here. Then following the same process, remove what you do not want like we did or include what you want in the scene. You don't necessarily have to move through your image generations before this is possible. I just wanted to mention that. You can import an image as well. Next, let's go back to the edit tab. We come down here, we see history. We can find every image we have generated so far. So do not be worried, you never lost them. If you no longer want to keep an image, then you can go ahead to delete it. I'm sure you are still asking what else is possible using Flax context. I'll go back to the edit tab once again. Let's drag our previous image scene here. And then I'm going to type to change the background into a Tokyo night scene with neon lights raining at the same time. Then let's hit generate. Once again, this continues to get more advanced. Imagine getting this level of accuracy without even creating a mask. Traditionally in Photoshop, this would take hours, sometimes even days looking at the rain, street reflections and the wet street. Let's even attempt another powerful feature of this Flux Context model, right? I will come down here to Edit tab, then let's modify the prompt, change this to a 2D anime style. For this, I'll reduce the batch size to just two images. Then let's click to Generate. This is such a basic interface, but the results are mind-blowing. Let's view this in a full frame. With only a simple prompt, this restyle looks seriously impressive. And if some of these results motivate you in any way, I share all the materials I use for each project in my creator's resources. So you can test out your own ideas, saving you time and feel inspired to realize you can achieve the same things. Moving to the next tab, we can see the expand tab here. This is simple for outpainting. Drop my image here, either enter a prompt or no prompt, then hit generate to extend the background. Could this get any easier? And I'm super surprised by all of this and its simplicity. So moving on, I went ahead to create some more frames following the same process and notice that the consistency of the character has been maintained through the entire journey using the same reference image. And through this powerful model and a simple production process, after a number of different themes and ideas, I combined a few of the frames I generated into a storyboard, laid out a few sound effects for an emotional mood, and then I used an image to video technique to animate the scenes. You can use any image to video generator that works well for you, and a lot of my previous videos explains the entire process. Following that, I upscaled the generated video with the free open source custom node. Then I replaced the storyboard images. After that, I exported the finished video and now we can watch what came out of it. Some debts don't die. This bounty ends tonight. So there you have it. Easy consistency for AI filmmaking. If your generations are not matching to your desired results, improve your prompt feed into the model. While we do not have an open source model available yet, we are hopeful it will be here soon. I truly hope this was helpful for all of you. Don't forget to drop a like. You can also help the channel by joining the membership as a premier or creator. A big thank you to all of you guys so far, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.